Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll taking a look at the king of the market, Bitcoin. Currently trading over $16,000. Bitcoin is down bad in the bear market. Bitcoin has lost over 66.3% of its value in the last one year. That's what we expect in the bear market. The million dollar question people want answers to right now is how low can Bitcoin go in the crypto bear market of 2022? We have seen Bitcoin dump from as high as $69,000 in November 2021. Bitcoin has spent majority of 2022 dumping to Goblin Town. Now, Bitcoin is currently down 77% from the all-time high, but this is the lowest crash we have seen Bitcoin have in the bear market. Bitcoin usually goes down 80% plus in every other crypto bear market in this video we'll be taking a look at bitcoin realized hodl ratio should we buy more bitcoin right now we'll also be looking at bitcoin investor 2 the two-year moving average multiplier should we buy more bitcoin right now or should we be waiting for that one final dump to the downside bitcoin dominance is currently increasing what does that mean for bitcoin in the coming weeks in the coming months we'll be talking about that and more in this video but first guys when it comes to investing nothing will pay off more than educating yourself an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So if you want to make money long time trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, all coins are down really bad in the last one year. Bitcoin, the king of the market, is also down. Bitcoin has gone below the previous all-time high. Bitcoin went to as low as $15,400 in the bear market of 2022. Bitcoin has been through different bear markets and we've seen Bitcoin recover and go to set new all-time lows. But is this time different? Is this the end for Bitcoin? Are we going to see Bitcoin head to $3,000, $2,000? Some people are even calling for Bitcoin to drop to as low as $160. You take a look at Bitcoin realized hodl ratio. This ratio is Bitcoin's hodl ratio in one week divided by Bitcoin hodl ratio in one year times Bitcoin total market age. The indicator overuse uses the ratio of realized value hodl waves. In summary, realized value waves are different age bands of transaction coins weighted by realized values of coins within each band. Now, anytime we see this band getting to the green region, that has been a good time to buy Bitcoin in the past. Anytime it's heading towards the red region, that has always been a good time to sell Bitcoin for some profit. And we've seen different occurrences of it heading to the green region where it was a good time to buy Bitcoin. In 2012, Bitcoin was trading for $7. The realized ratio was 197 in 2015, 2016, when Bitcoin was trading for $269, the reality ratio was 123. The same thing happened in the previous bottom of the bear market for Bitcoin in 2018 December. Bitcoin's price was around $3,300. The realized ratio was in 210. And right now in the bear market of 2022, we have a realized ratio of 212. And Bitcoin is currently trading below $17,000. Will this indicator be right once again? We have seen it being right in the previous bear market. Is this the best time to start accumulating some Bitcoin getting ready for the next bull run? Because guys, those people that enjoy the next bull run are those people that are willing to take the risks at the bottom of the bear market. In 2014, 2015, those people are willing to buy Bitcoin when it was trading around $100 to the $290 region. In 2018, those people are willing to buy Bitcoin below $4,000. A lot of people are saying Bitcoin is going back to Goblin Town, maybe below $1,000. But those people that had the balls to buy Bitcoin at the $3,200 level, they were the ones that were singing Kumbaya when Bitcoin headed back to $69,000. Right now in the bear market of 2022, will you have the balls to buy Bitcoin below the previous all-time high? I'm not going to lie to you guys. A lot of us thought the bottom was in for Bitcoin in $17,600. But we've seen Bitcoin go one final step to the downside. Maybe it was the FTX implosion that caused that, but Bitcoin looks as if it's on shaky grounds right now. If you're a long-term investor and you take a look at the Bitcoin Investor 2, the two-year moving average multiplier, maybe right now is the time to be buying way, way more Bitcoin. All the previous time that's assumed us this green region has been good times to buy Bitcoin. In 2011, Bitcoin was trading for $3. The two-year multiplier was showing us that Bitcoin would get to that $20 region at some point in time in future. We saw Bitcoin rally up to as high as over $1,000. The next best time to buy Bitcoin was in the 2014-2015 bottom of the bear market. And you can see that the Bitcoin multiplier was showing us that that was another good time to buy Bitcoin. Guess what, guys? 
if you bought bitcoin when bitcoin was trading below the 235 dollar region you would have been very very excited by the end of the next bull run because we saw bitcoin rally up to that twenty thousand dollar region and the next time he told us to buy some bitcoin was in the bottom of the previous bear market in 2018 bitcoin was trading below three thousand five hundred dollars and the two-year multiplier effect was telling us that Bitcoin was headed to $5,000 and $29,000. And that's what happened in the coming years. Bitcoin rose to as high as $69,000. Right now, in the bear market of 2022, the Bitcoin investor tool is telling us, maybe just maybe you want to be buying some Bitcoin. Because as Bitcoin is trading around the $17,000 region, the two-year multiplier effect is telling us that Bitcoin is heading to that $8,000 at some point in time in the future. And maybe just maybe in five years time, we might see Bitcoin heading to that $190,000 region. And guys, that's very, very possible. Bitcoin can go above that $100,000 region. It might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow. But some time to time in the future, but some point in time in the distance future, we will see Bitcoin heading to that $190,000 region. And the Fibonacci retracement tool is telling us that Bitcoin actually has the capacity to head to the $248,000 region. Very, very crazy. One day we'll see Bitcoin heading to that $250,000 region. In the last one year, we've seen Bitcoin go from as high as $51,900 to as low as $15,500. Bitcoin currently has a market cap of $322 billion, a fully data market cap of $352 billion. And out of the maximum supply of 21 million coins, we have over 19.2 million Bitcoins in circulation. Currently ranked number one on coin market cap, over 3.6 million people still have Bitcoin on their watch list. And where can you buy some Bitcoin if you want to get some in the bear market, getting ready for the next bull run? You can get some Bitcoin on Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Qcoin, on Kraken, and guys, anywhere you get your popular altcoins. Now, if you take a look at Bitcoin dominance in the bear market, we're used to seeing Bitcoin dominance increase to the upside. But this bear market has been very, very strange. Bitcoin dominance has been hovering below the 40% region. In the previous bear market, we saw Bitcoin dominance even rising to as high as 59%. At some point in time, the previous bear market, Bitcoin dominance rose to as high as 71%. So how high will Bitcoin dominance go in this bear market? The highest we have seen Bitcoin dominance get to since when Bitcoin topped was the 48% region. Are we going to go above 48% right now? It looks as if Bitcoin is gaining some strength in the crypto market. Bitcoin R holding ratio is telling us to get some Bitcoin. The Bitcoin investor tool, the two-year moving average multiplier, is telling us maybe just maybe you want to be buying some Bitcoin right now. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think the bottom is in for Bitcoin right now? How low can we possibly go in the bear market? Are you buying more Bitcoin right now? Or are you waiting for that one final dump to the downside? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.